Anyone who knows me knows I'm not the most eloquent, soft-spoken, tender guy. New at 6, the 10 Investigates team continues to sift through audio recordings that shed light on an internal investigation underway at the Knoxville Police Department. Tonight, those recordings give an indication of how senior leaders, including a deputy chief, responded to allegations of inappropriate conduct. Also today, more city council members are condemning the language on this video obtained by 10 News. It shows now retired Sergeant Bobby Maxwell making vulgar comments during a police roll call meeting. That is just one of the allegations listed in a formal complaint city leaders confirm is part of an internal affairs investigation. Tonight, the audio recordings obtained by 10 News shed light on how that deputy responded to the initial complaint about the behavior of Sergeant Maxwell. Reporter Cole Sullivan joins us with those recordings where you can also hear Sergeant Maxwell apologizing. Cole? John and Heather, Sergeant Maxwell apologizes for putting his superiors in this position, but the recordings show a deputy chief told Maxwell he can, quote, motivate his district as he sees fit. In a supplement to this formal complaint written by KPD Lieutenant Travis Brassfield, he says he was called into a meeting on June 20th with Captain Anthony Willis and Deputy Chief Kenny Miller. In a recording of that meeting obtained by 10 News, the supervisors react to an earlier anonymous complaint about the behavior of now retired KPD Sergeant Bobby Maxwell. My mind's going 90 miles an hour right now. Very long way. Sergeant Maxwell enters the room and tells his bosses he's a good man, but knows he's, quote, rough around the edges. Anyone who knows me knows I'm not the most eloquent, soft-spoken, tender guy. Maxwell says officers in his roll call understand. I've used some strong language to make some point. And they seem to receive it like men. They seem to receive it well. And he doesn't think someone on his squad sent the anonymous letter. Some young whippersnapper got butt hurt. That's what it was. His captain, Anthony Willis, says Maxwell is the best sergeant he has. Hands down, the best sergeant in the district, period. And Deputy Chief Kenny Miller supports him as well. You motivate your district the way you see fit and uh, use your style. I'm okay with that as long as we're heading in the right direction. After Maxwell leaves the room, Miller has a different perspective. We want the behavior stuff to be. He says he hopes it goes away. I'm hoping as long as the behavior's changed, it's not repeated, and it's done, we just go to That's why that is my desire. But he's worried a video of inappropriate language and roll call might exist, and he's worried where it might end up. They go to Land Central and they be out. Today, we also heard from the Fraternal Order of Police. Its president says he does not condone Maxwell's behavior, but he says he, quote, won't condemn a 25-year veteran of the force. John Heather. Cole, thank you. We first broke this story on Channel 10 and in the WBIR app. There you can see the entire 10 News investigation. That includes the full video and statements about women allegedly made by Sergeant Maxwell, plus the timeline of the internal investigation.